Having a seventh grade student is not easy. I know this twice over because not only do I teach the seventh graders, but I have a seventh grade child myself. Okay, the newsletter here can be a great tool for you in order to support your child. Okay, so here in the remote learning environment, we have a double difficulty because you're at work and your child is at home and you're crossing your fingers and hoping for the best. Okay, really is, is how we do a lot of those days. And I'm right with you. I, I, one thing that I highly recommend, I call it the annoyance factor. Um, I set alarms all over my house. Um, I set alarms on my son's phone. I set them on my Google Hub. Um, I, then I follow up with texts whenever possible. Um, it's not always possible, I know that, but it, it's the, the know the schedule. Again, I kind of have the advantage since not only am I in the same lesson at the same time, um, but I can also then pester him afterwards. But send those texts, you know, hey, here's your reminder that it's, it's, you're about ready for your, you know, core three lesson, your core four lesson, um, or follow up with it, you know, say, hey, how was your science class today? Um, little reminders like that, um, whenever possible, can really make a big impact. Um, we aren't seeing a lot in some of our classes, a lot of live lesson participation. Um, there's a lot of kids that are skipping that and going straight for the assignment, and it's noticeable, you know, because they don't really understand what the purpose of the lesson is, you know, because they didn't have the instruction, they didn't have the discussion. Um, they're jumping into it without, you know, the full knowledge of what the, the purpose is. So knowing the schedule here, um, what times they have class, even if you're not sure what class they're supposed to be in, whether it's science or math, um, setting those alarms, encouraging them to set the alarms is, is really beneficial. Um, so that way they're in those live lessons because not only do we have the lesson part in there, the instructional component, but we also give them time to work on the assignments. And so then that helps with that time management piece, okay? Because that's the other component here. Um, a lot of the kids, when we surveyed them this week, talked about how they're having a hard time getting all their work done. Um, and they shouldn't. They really, really shouldn't because we're building in time during those live lessons to get the work done. Um, a big part of the problem, though, is they're waiting until the end of the week because, well, you know, their assignments aren't due until Sunday. So they're waiting until Friday. And then they have every assignment for every class that they're trying to accomplish on Friday. And that's just not possible. You're not going to pack an entire week's worth of school into one day. And even if you manage to do it, it's not going to be quality. Okay, and so that's really what's causing a lot of those kids that anxiety. Okay, so they get into those live lessons, one that helps. Okay, here's the other piece that can help you. So I'm going to scroll down here. We have changed the look of the assignment, the uh, weekly agenda. Okay, so one piece is, you know, at, at the end of the day, conversation is going to be key, you know, having that sit down with your kid. Hey, what did you do today? You know, what, what did your live lessons look like? You know, if you're seeing that in social studies, they're supposed to be taking notes. What'd you take notes on? Hey, you know, what are, what are unbalanced forces for science? Um, checking up on, on that progress. Um, that's going to be really, really huge. Just, just that conversation piece is going to reinforce what we're saying in the classroom and showing them, showing your child that you know what's going on in class. Okay. And so they're going to hold themselves more accountable. Um, if you're able to print this out, great. If you're not just referencing it, so that way, you know, they keep up with that pacing. Uh, we, it is our job to teach your child. Okay, we are not asking you to teach your child. We want to teach your child. Okay, all we want from you is just, again, that conversation at the end of the day, that check-in. 
Okay. Did you get done your Nearpods for math? Okay. And, you know, you will also have the videos on there to, to show how to check that from the, the Canvas perspective, but just asking makes a big difference. Uh, you look here, so, you know, some of these have actual checkboxes that they can go in. Um, if you look here on, on the language arts side, um, I have, it's kind of not super obvious, but I have bolded what they're turning in versus what they're reading in class. And so if they're keeping up with, with the day to day, then ideally like perfect world, like they don't have anything on the weekends. We don't want them to have work on the weekend. If they're going to their live lessons each day, they really should not have work to do on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and the work that they have on Friday should be very, very minimal. Because our, when we're planning, it's so that they're done. Like between nine to four, yes, we're expecting them to work on and off between live lessons and on their own. But they, they shouldn't be working really after 4 p.m. Unless there's there's something going on. Obviously, if they're taking care of a sibling or if they have a doctor's appointment, there's there's some variety. But outside of a, a regularly scheduled amount of school time, they shouldn't have that extra work. Um, another thing that you can do to support them, um, I get the weekly emails from PowerSchool, which I find really, really helpful because I don't remember to check PowerSchool throughout the week on my own. Um, the weekly emails just come on Monday morning and I can just quickly peruse and see, all right, are they missing assignments? If they are, then at that point I can go and touch base with my kid. We've got, you know, the, the week to turn in any late work. So then we make sure we tackle that on Monday and get those things accounted for. And that's, that's really helpful. All right, so again, alarms annoy your child make sure that they're in those live lessons um to have the just the conversation what what are you talking about in class you know ask them questions about what they're learning um, and then reference this this agenda checklist you know what have you done what have you done to tackle that to-do list and so that way we can keep them from stressing out, okay? It's a stressful time. We gotta help give them those tools to manage their time and to uh, keep them productive throughout the week so they're not waiting until you know, Friday afternoon and causing a bunch of unnecessary anxiety. I hope that, that helped. And if there's any other ways that we can help you, please, oh, please reach out. Um, that is also our job. Thanks, guys.